is a universal language. It brings people together, drawn in by taste, and here in Tukwila, by a wonderful cacophony of smells. It's an uh, overwhelming of all your senses. <laughs> all I can say, if you're not hungry, you'll be hungry. And if you haven't tried anything, you will want to try by pointing, I want that, I want that. This is Spice Bridge, a cultural food hall and food business incubator. It's a project of the Food Innovation Network and its parent organization, Global to Local, a SeaTac-based nonprofit. So Spice Bridge houses uh, a variety of vendors, uh, all women, immigrant, refugee women that come in and they um, are learning to uh, build a food business. Eight different businesses rotate between four stalls. On any given day, one might find Gambian food, Argentinian, Filipino, Congolese, a delicious celebration of community and diversity. Each of these women sharing a piece of themselves through the dishes they serve. You know, we're incredible. I keep saying, you know, we're, we're like powerful women. It's, it, it, you know, because we've all had our own struggles, you know, and we've, been able to overcome and make this happen, you know, in our own way. Nazreen Nori is a mom of four and the owner of Jazzy's. The name, a combination of her kids' initials. She serves Afghan American fusion food made with organic, local ingredients. There's so many passions behind Jazzy's. You know, I want to. I want to grow it into a, a restaurant where families could come together and also. Uh, my, my hope is to have a place where families with children like are like I have a special needs son, you know, where, you know, we all can go, where, you know, we have a bigger space, get his wheelchair in there. I'm hoping to create a place, you know, that people are welcomed and, you know, feel at home. A couple stalls over, Terry from Terry Cambodian Foods has been providing a taste of home to the local Cambodian community for years, cooking meals at the South Park Community Center. Though it was her friends who pushed this single mom to open the business, the inspiration is her mother. My mother always say, oh, husband, we should have a restaurant and my dad, because we don't speak English, you know, it's only a dream, right? A family's dream. A dream that seemed so far out of reach when they escaped Cambodia years ago, now becoming reality. Terry's pride in these traditional dishes, evident in the way they're prepared, without shortcuts. I wanted to share to the world that our food is as great, as healthy, um, as delicious as any food, and Cambodian food just need an opportunity to taste. And once you taste our food, you know we are as good. I mean, we are good. Yes, food is universal. Because no matter who you are, where you come from, delicious is delicious. Sometimes all one needs is an opportunity to share. It's a dream come true, um, especially for my parents, um, which uh, they're gone now. But, you know, me doing it for them, it's, it's great. Yeah. For Seattle Refined, I'm Brandon Bernstead. To learn more about Spice Bridge, you know what to do. It's all on our website.